Sri Lanka is a 65,000 square kilometer island below the southern tip of India and situated in the Indian Ocean. It has been known as the Pearl of the Indian Ocean from early times. It has a recorded history of over 2,500 years and definite information about its form of government is available from the 3rd century BC in the Anuradhapura period. In ancient times, the head of state was the king and Sri Lanka was a monarchy. The king was also entrusted with the legislative functions. He presided over a court of ministers who represented the interests of the people and advised the king. In the 4th century BC, King Pandukhabe made Anuradhapura the first capital of Sri Lanka in a manner we consider modern. The forerunner to the parliament, the royal court, met in the evening to discuss municipal matters under a different official called Nagaraguttika. During the 5th century, the royal court met in a special place presided over by the king. During the Purannarua period, a special beautiful building was constructed by King Parakramabahu for the royal court to meet. King Nisankamal, who followed him, built his own royal court close to the waters of the Parakrama Samudra Reservoir. This tradition has been followed in Kandy, the last kingdom of the Sinhalese, where an artificial lake was created close by. The maritime districts fell to the Portuguese in 1505. Then came the Dutch in 1602. And the last bastion of the Sinhalese, the Kandyan kingdom, was taken over by the British in 1815 with the signing of the Kandyan Convention. However, just three years later, the British administration was disrupted due to a rebellion by the Sinhalese. As a result, the Colebrook Commission was appointed in 1833 to introduce reforms. According to its recommendations, the two separate councils, the Executive Council and the Legislative Council, were formed. At the beginning, both legislative and executive councils met at the building of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in front of Gordon Gardens in the Colombo Fort. The governor was the president of the legislative council which had nine official members and six unofficial members who were nominated by the governor consisting of three Europeans and one each from the Sinhala, Tamil and Burger communities. In 1912, the number of members increased to 21. In 1921, it increased to 37. In 1924, it was further increased to 49. This was followed by the appointment of the Donamore Commission. Based on its recommendations, the universal franchise for all adults over the age of 21 was introduced in 1931 and the name Legislative Council was changed to the State Council which consisted of 61 members. A 12-acre block near Golface was selected for a parliamentary building and a design of architect Woodson was accepted. It was opened ceremonially by Sir Herbert Stanley on January 1930. 
Sir Stanley, in his address, said that he believed that the people will protect the independence and the dignity of this building. The Solbury Commission, which was appointed in 1944, recommended a package of reforms in 1946 based on the Westminster model. Accordingly, the Parliament consisted of the Senate, or Upper House, and the House of Representatives, or Lower House. The Senate had 30 members and the House of Representatives 101, out of which 95 members were elected and six were nominated by the Governor-General. The Prime Minister and the Cabinet were answerable to the Lower House. Sri Lanka achieved independence from Britain on the 4th of February 1948 with Dominion status. The head of the state was the Governor-General representing the Queen of Great Britain. Right Honourable D.S. Senanayaka became the first Prime Minister. From 1948 till the present, Right Honourable D.S. Senanayaka, Dudley Senanayaka, Sir John Kotalavala, S.W.R.D. Bandaranayaka, Dr. Vijayananda Dahanayaka, Mrs. Sirimavo Bandaranayaka, J.R. Jayavardhana and R. Premadasa, D.B. Vijayatunga, Ranil Vikramasinghe, Mrs. Chandrika Bandaranayaka Kumarathunga, Ratnasiri Vikramanayaka and Mahinda Rajapaksha served as Prime Ministers. Of them, J.R. Jayavardhana, R. Premadasa, D.B. Vijayathunga, Mrs. Chandrika Bandaranayaka Kumarathunga and Mahinda Rajapaksha have been elected Executive Presidents. Prior to them, Sir Oliver Gunadilaka and Mr. William Gopallava held the position of Governor General of the country. In 1972, Sri Lanka became a republic with the adoption of a new constitution. According to this constitution, the legislature or the National State Assembly had only one house with 168 elected representatives. On the 7th of September 1978, the second republican constitution of Sri Lanka, the constitution of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka was enacted. The special features of the constitution were the elections by proportional representation and the executive presidency. The number of members was 225, out of which 29 were appointed from the national lists of members from parties and the independent groups that contested. The parliament is a supreme legislative authority of the country which has a life of six years. The Parliament can be summoned, prorogued and dissolved by a proclamation by the President. The life of the Parliament may be extended by a constitutional amendment passed with a two-thirds majority and a referendum. Parliament has four main functions such as lawmaking, scrutiny of the executive, ventilation of public grievances through public petitions and questions in Parliament and the control of public finance through the Public Accounts Committee and the Committee on Public Enterprises. As the Gaulface Parliament building was inadequate, the House permitted in 1979 the building of a new Parliament in Sri 